Hey guys, Nature and Vlog Guy here. Welcome back to another video. And today, um, one of our chrysalides has um, turned translucent. So um, I'm going to show you guys that now. So as you can see here, this chrysalis has turned dark, has darkened, and uh, you can't really see it that well. But you can see here, I'm going to try to show you guys up here. You can, uh, I don't know, but you can see the orange and black coming out from there. I don't know if you guys can see. Yeah, you, it's not letting me focus in on it, but there's little orange and black markings, which is where the wings are. And uh, that's how you know that the butterfly is about to emerge. So, uh, and this guy's not really that close. This guy's probably darkening a little bit. Yeah, he is. And, uh, oh yeah, the caterpillars are just munching away on those leaves. And, uh, that guy's about to emerge. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and flip around the camera. All right. So now what we're going to do is um, I'm going to show you guys a video of him emerging from his chrysalis. So uh, stay tuned for that. And uh, I'll see you guys in a bit. Alright, so um, it's been a couple of hours here since I made the last video. And as you can see, the colors are much more vibrant now. And uh, you can see if you look really closely... Here, I'll zoom in for you guys. There is a little bit of a separation between the admin, like right here, I'll circle it on the video if I can. And uh, so yeah, there's a little bit of a separation there. And that basically means that the butterfly will be emerging within the next hour. So I'm gonna keep on posting updates and then I'm gonna post it emerging. So uh, yeah. So I'm noticing a little bit of movement. I'm not really sure if this means the butterfly is about to emerge yet. That one also moved a little bit, but obviously he's not emerging yet. I'm not really sure. I've never seen a monarch chrysalis move. I've seen other chrysalides, you know, of other species would like wiggle for natural defense. Not sure if this means he's gonna emerge, but yeah, that separation has gotten a little bit bigger, and uh, he should be emerging any time now. So uh, I'll try to catch that on video. It might be like he might have already started to emerge because I can't start the video right when he, you know, because it's kind of hard to know. But I'll start it like as soon as possible. So he'll probably be like just coming out or something like that but like it won't show him like breaking out because i'll i'll start the video once he starts doing that but it should not be for another couple minutes now because the separation needs to get a little bit bigger from my past experiences it's gotten bigger so i'm not really sure i just want to tell you guys that all right uh see you for now so i wanted to record this one merging but my camera decided to not work for me. And by the time I got it working, she was already unfurled her wings and all that. So I apologize for you. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to the other video now. Because um, when she emerged, I did get a video of it. But um, when I tried to put it in, it just somehow deleted it. I don't know how, I'm literally not even joking. Like, I'm kind of upset that that happened because it was really cool, like it showed her getting out of that chrysalis and unfurling her wings but and uh it wouldn't process it and now it's being annoying and now it's not even there anymore so i'm sorry about that guys but anyway she's she's out now she's drying off her wings and uh she's also unfurling you can see that she's like trying to fuse that purpose proboscis together and uh yeah i will try to get one of these other chrysalides emerging. Uh, I wanted to try to get her, but uh, she emerged 
and I made a video, but I never actually processed it, processed it, and now it's gone. So yeah, it's a little bit upsetting, but it's okay. Uh, so when she finishes drying off her wings, I will take her out and uh, show you guys what she looks like. So uh, also I'll show you why I know it's a her rather than a him. So uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. Bye. So I had cut her out real quick. She's exploring. Poor baby will be released pretty soon, I would say. Yeah, you like my chest? She likes to climb up me a lot, so I think she's not ready to fly yet. Although she did just fly. Yeah, she's kind of just... Here, I'm going to do a selfie of this. So, stay tuned real quick. So, yeah. She's kind of just checking me out. You know, just... Being curious, you know, because she can't really fly, so she needs other ways to. She seems to really like the back of my head. I don't know if I should move her. Ow. Eh, stop pulling my hair. Yeah, she really likes the back of my head, like she's always going back there. I have no idea why. I don't want, I don't want to damage her wings, though, so... Yeah, she just likes that one spot. Right there. Alright, well, yeah, that's basically what's happening now. I'll come back in a bit. So, I took her off of my head because I wanted to rest my head for a little bit. But, as you can see, you get a really good shot of her right here. You see. And the reason why I know it's a female is that when she opens her wings, See if I can get her to do it. No, she doesn't really want to. Oh, wait. There's, in the male, here, there's two little scent glands at the bottom of the wings here. I'll turn on the camera and show you guys. And as you see on the female, she just excreted some of that liquid onto me. There is no scent glands that the, that the male would have right on the forewings. So, that's how I know it's a female rather than a male. Let's go wipe off my hand for a minute. Give me a minute. As you can see, she's drying off her wings right now. And I think she just, oh, oh no. Oh, okay. I thought she bent her wing and I was like, okay, I should probably put her down now. Cause her wings aren't fully dried, but, so I should probably put her down. But yeah, she seems, they, they seem dried to the point where they're not gonna cause any major damage if she falls from a short height. But if she f falls from, like, a long height, she's just going to be, she's going to damage her wings. But she did fly, so I'm not really sure if her wings are dried just yet. She seems to like climbing more than flying, though. I'm going to feed her tomorrow, because there's a storm, as you can see outside, there's, like, a storm coming. But, so yeah, I'll feed her tomorrow. But I'm going to show you guys the anatomy of this. So as you can see, it has the basic body parts, the head, thorax, and, oh, she keeps her wings open, but admin inside the wings, and two antennae, yeah, antennae, and it looks like, and as we know, insects have six legs, and it looks like she has four, but actually, just near that head, you know, I'll show you guys, it's kind of hard to feel she has two little legs on the head near the proboscis and that's that is the two missing legs and as you see she just she's still securing the marcolium so well i won't zoom out okay there we go so that's why she's getting my arm a little bit wet but it's okay She's trying to go on the camera now. Oh, what you doing, buddy? You guys get a good shot of her right there, unfocused. She's gonna be flailing around, her legs around like crazy right now. Whoa, what are you doing? 
You're gonna break your wing. She looks like she wants to fly, but she can't. Not just yet. Uh oh. Don't go in there. Ah. Well, she can climb down there, I guess. But no, I don't want to go in there. As you can see, her wings are still a little bit soft, so I'm going to try putting her in the net. I don't have any netting for her to go on right now, except for this, so. Oh, yeah, the chrysalides are beginning to darken right here. So we're going to get two new, maybe females or males, and I can't really determine. Oh, there she goes. Her second flight. Can't climb up there, buddy. Buddy, it's too slippery for you. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, her legs are very spiky. I had to kind of pull her off there. I think she got stuck on my paint. I'm trying to get her to go on the net. She doesn't seem to want to. Yeah, she's just climbing up my arm again. Here, I'm going to set down the camera for a minute. And she seems to have found a spot to do that. So, uh, yeah, I'll show you guys her in a bit. Alright, so basically she found a place for her wings to dry, and now she is going to dry them. And I'm, I think she, yeah, she will be released in a bit. So, uh, yeah... Just uh, stay tuned, I'm going to go show you guys one emerging from the chrysalis now, which will be tomorrow. So, uh, bye. emerging from his or her chrysalis. There it goes, flipping fluid into its wings. Unfurling that proboscis and patting it together with two pads by her head. So I'm going to go ahead and skip forward to when she has her wings unfurled. So, uh, see you guys in a bit. So I hope all of you enjoyed that video. Uh, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And, uh, yeah, my next video will be me releasing those butterflies, which I'm taking this video... Uh, a little bit later, and I have actually released them all at this point, but I will show you guys, I'll have a video on that. So it'll be like, I guess, the past for me, but the future for you guys. So, uh, yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe. And uh, if you've watched this whole video, thanks. That's really a lot because it's 14 minutes. So see you guys later. Bye.